welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wanted to show you guys my updated gingerbread cupcake recipe. This is what they look like. I love putting the gingerbread man on top. I'll probably never change that, but the actual cake itself is so much better. I've updated my gingerbread recipe, so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys need a great Christmas recipe to make, these are perfect. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. All my ingredients will be in the description box down below. And if you want to watch and see how I made these gingerbread cupcakes, then please keep watching. Starting off our cupcake recipe, I'm just going to be creaming together one stick of softened butter along with a half a cup of light brown sugar. And you'll just want to mix those together until they form a light and fluffy consistency. And something very different than my other recipes, I am just adding one egg to this and then I'm going to mix that all together until that's fully incorporated. Next up, I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and then you're going to want to set that aside. And now in a separate smaller bowl, I'm just adding together half a cup of buttermilk with a half a cup of molasses and molasses is what makes it taste like that gingerbread flavor. It's going to really bring out the true gingerbread cupcake flavor. And I'm just mixing those together with my fork to make sure that they're completely combined. You'll be able to tell because you won't be able to see a separation of the white and the brown colors. And then I'm just adding this to my butter mixture and it will not look like your normal creamy batter. It is going to be a little bit separated and that is okay, just go with it. Then I'm gonna start my dry ingredients. So in a separate bowl, I'm just going to be mixing together one and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour along with a half a teaspoon of baking soda a half a teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and a fourth teaspoon of cloves. That is a mouthful, but I promise without these ingredients, it will not taste like a gingerbread cake. These really do make the whole recipe. So I'm just mixing that together so that those are all combined before adding it to my wet ingredients. And once it is, I'm just going to be adding it in intervals just so my batter isn't flying all over my kitchen. And then I'm just going to keep mixing that until everything's incorporated. And then I can go ahead and fill my cupcake pan. I'm just filling my liners about two thirds way full. And then I'm just going to pop that into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. These are going to bake so beautifully, you guys. You have to try this recipe. It is by far my favorite gingerbread recipe ever. And now the delicious cream cheese icing. So I'm just adding in a stick of butter along with a stick of cream cheese. It's eight ounces. And then I'm going to be adding in one teaspoon of vanilla to that. And then lastly, I'm adding in four cups of powdered sugar. Sometimes I can use three cups. It kind of depends on the day. I don't know really why this is the way it is, but sometimes I use three cups, sometimes I use four. Just go one cup at a time and see which consistency you like best. And then I'm just mixing all four of those ingredients together until they're fully incorporated. Then you can go ahead and ice your cupcakes once your cupcakes are completely cooled. I am using the biggest round tip that I have and I'm just piping on a pretty little top to these and then on top I'm going to be adding a little gingerbread man. I found these just at my local grocery store. I've actually found a couple different types so whatever you think is cutest but I think that this little gingerbread man on top makes it. I do this every year. I'll probably never change it. I just think it's so cute and people can tell what they're about to be eating. And that's all there is to these gingerbread cupcakes. I just decided to post my updated recipe because I know I posted a gingerbread cupcake recipe last year. But this one I just think is so much better and gingerbread cupcakes aren't really the most popular so I think that this is a really underrated type of treat. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, it means so much to me. I really hope you guys try these out and if you do please let me know. All the ingredients will be in the description box down below and if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment boxes down below. And again thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!